This is potentially the money earner, you know. I paid two pound for this. This is this is going to be such a mistake. Oh, it's all dirty. Look at it. <laughs> it says Pokemon Snap, Super Mario 64, Mario Golf. Very, very beaten up Sega Mega Drive 2. What's going on, guys? My name is James Collex, and yes, I'm being lazy again. We are currently in my front room. We're about to go through and do the whole video for Saturday. I'm actually going to be recording Saturday and Sunday back to back because someone was a naughty boy and didn't do it yesterday. So, yeah, my apologies for wearing the same stuff twice. So, yesterday was her. Aha! Right. So, the Saturday car boot, they, they have a smaller field and a bigger field. Generally speaking, when they've got the inkling that it's going to be a good day, they tend to put us on the bigger field. Today, well, today for you, yesterday for me, they put this. They they put all the all the sellers on a smaller field. Inevitably, it filled up, and what they were actually doing was where you've got the aisles going down. They put people on the ends to get as many people in as possible. They had. I was walking around, and there was. They put a massive van. They had them drive through where people were buying to get to the other end, so that he could then sort of tee it off. It was absolutely mental, absolutely crazy. So that was fun. Got a few good bits, which you guys are going to see imminently. I missed out on some amazing stuff. Uh, one of the the guys who owns a shop, he bought a mint. I like seriously mint. I can't emphasise my eyes being closed enough. Mint snares boxed. The box was amazing, absolutely incredible. Paid 20 quid. He also got another 20 quid bundle, at least he said it was 20 quid. Uh, it contained a Game Boy Micro, you know, the one that's like a really horrible green color. Uh, one of those, uh, an Xbox 360, and I think it was a Wii U. And he paid 20, 25 pound for that bundle as well. He did really, really well. He did amazingly. and. He didn't like go back to his car and drop off at any stage. So I'd see him and he had like one bag with him. Then I'd see him again and he had like three bags with him. And then towards the end, he had to rope uh, one of his friends in to give him a hand because he had like a crate and well over half a dozen bags. So yeah, yesterday was fun. Really, really enjoyed it to be fair. Uh, I'll be honest, I didn't record at all for both Saturday and Sunday, completely forgot. Bumped into a subscriber on Saturday, which was really, really strange. I, It still confuses me that people recognize me because of this being so online. When someone comes to you face to face, it's just, it just takes a few seconds just to click. So yeah, someone came over and said, do you do YouTube? I was like, yes. I think yes so, but yeah it was it was nice but I am just rabbit in so uh yeah whole time so first item is a very very beaten up Sega Mega Drive 2 uh the asking price was 15 I uh it basically got him down to 20 uh, no sorry to 10 pounds because he wanted five pound for this as well so I end up getting a pair for 15 quid. Absolutely no research has been done into that whatsoever. It's just nice. So I just picked it up um, on the off chance that it might be worth a few quid. It needs a bit of a clean. It's, it's dirty in places. Uh, this, as you can see, the box is ruined. So it comes with a manual, which is currently over. Hang on. Watch this magic. Kapow. It comes with a manual. So it's not the, uh, the same box I have. So that's just going to be going into the collection for now. But I really want to swap this out because it is really, really beaten up. So £10, £5. And I actually bought some more bits off of this guy later on. Now, what did I get? I got these. I paid £15 for the lot. Now, these were actually priced at £10 a piece, which I don't think he priced them at. I think he got them off of someone else, and that's what they priced them at. So I was looking through, and I said, well, how much do you want for the game? So said, well, tell me which ones you want, and we'll, we'll do a price. So, well, that, that just sort of depends on 
and what your prices are depends on which ones I want to pick up. So then I was looking at it and I said, look, well, that's really worth only a couple of quid. Um, that's only worth a couple of quid. And it's like, well, yeah, we somehow, eventually, we, we got to a price. So I paid £15 for the lot, which is not too bad. It says Pokemon Snap, Super Mario 64, Mario Golf, uh, Lilac Wars, F1, Pole Position 64, and Donkey Kong 64. So they all need a bit of a clean. So looking forward to taking all these apart, giving them a good old spruce up. I've got loads of carts that need to be taken apart, actually. So those were bought later on in the day. There were actually some um, some PS2 games, which I bought some of. I went back later when I picked those up, and one of the other dealers had um, picked up some PS2 games, which are really, really, like, minty fresh, and they were quite good. So picked up FIFA 13, which uh, is worth around 10 to £15, pounds, depending on condition. I don't actually have FIFA 13 yet, so that is going straight into the collection. FIFA 13 and 14 are the ones to look out for. This is, I think it's an Abe's Odyssey in here. No, it's Oddworld. Yeah, Abe's Odyssey. Platinum edition. Uh, that was a quid. FIFA 13 was a quid. Oddworld, Abe's Exodus is not going to open one-handed, are you? You're going to be a pain. Why are you doing this? There's going to be literally people watching this. So there we go. That looks nice, doesn't it? That is absolutely lovely, Jubbly. So that goes in there. That goes in there. Really nice condition. Paid a pound. And then Space Invaders Anniversary. Uh, yeah, not sure whether I've got this or not. So it's Space Invaders. So yeah, if I pick up for a quid. Um... Bought these towards the end of the car boot. These were £3.50 a piece, but I actually got them down to... Um, I think I paid six quid for the pair, which isn't too bad, to be fair. Uh, the Ranger game isn't worth a great amount. Platinum is worth, obviously, a little bit more. So don't think I actually have a Platinum in my personal collection. I'll have to go through and double-check. Pokemon Ranger, Shadows of Almia, I definitely don't have in my personal collection. So... Yes, they've got to go to the stores. They've got to be double-checked. Uh, what else did we get? We got Breaking Bad, the complete series, completely brand new and sealed, paid a whopping £2. I think I've already put this online for about £23 or so. So that could be good. That's really for, for those out there who don't have Netflix. Bought some of these bits. So we have House of the Dead 3 on Xbox. Now, I did buy some Pokemon cards as well. They're not in that one. So I think I paid £10 for the lot. So that's these three items and these Pokemon cards, which is just... Uh, it's an E-Series Abra, E-Series Haunter, E-Series Kadabra, and an E-Series Energy Search. I think... What set is that? Expedition. I want to say Expedition. That looks like an E. I want to say Expedition. So, yeah, e-readers. Just thought I'd pick them up. Went through all the cards, and they're the only ones that I could see that were viable to buy. Then, Wii Remote to go with all my Wii stuff. So there's that. If we go over here, uh, there's a gentleman who had around 10 boxes of these. Uh, I bought two. One of the other gaming collecting reseller guys bought two. He was on an R in, and I, like I said, look, I've already looked it up. Minimum of twenty uh, twenty five pounds plus postage. Like they were going for forty odd. Just get them. So these were ten pound each. I think someone bought five. Uh, someone else bought one, and then there was yeah a two and a two. These were eleven pound for all three. These have been tested because I had my batteries on me which I forgot for today's car boot, which is Sunday, so which is really annoying because I've put them somewhere and I don't know where. So, yeah, I know these all work. Well, at least the motors were going and uh, everything was moving internally. So we have a Sanyo, we have a Sony Walkman, and we have another Sony Walkman. So there's that. Then uh, this is potentially the money earner, you know? I paid £2 for this. Believe it or not, going for about 50 to 60 quid. 
Now it is all complete. I've already set it up. I'm not going to go into it now. I want to do a completely separate unboxing video for this. Uh, so I paid two pound for that, and I paid two pound for all of these extras. I, I, I don't know what I'm going to do. Um, I really don't know. Box condition is okay. I mean, this is going to be from what early two thousands. So, yeah, I don't know what we're going to do. There's there's loads of extras. There, it's got Moth Man and um, Summon Skull, and in here. There's complete is Dark Magician Girl, uh, that horn thing. Uh, Lord of D is in there. That dude is in there. Uh, incomplete, like the ones that don't have everything. Uh, we've got Ultimate Dragon. There's Exodia. There is a Red Eyes Black Dragon. Uh, there's That's complete. That's Baby Dragon. There's a Toon Dragon in there that's complete. So there, there's absolutely loads in there i've no idea what i'm gonna do with that so i don't know i uh, i really don't know from what when i looked from memory there's none of these in the uk they're all international and they're about 70 pounds each so uh, yeah i don't know what i'm gonna do extreme dinosaur uh paid a pound Woody and Bullseye paid, what was that, £2.95. That's from a charity shop on the way home. So it's just one of those. And then we have this box of absolutely grubby loveliness. So I paid £15 for the box, I think. This is, this is going to be such a mistake. Oh, it's all dirty. Look at it. <laughs> So I need to go through and sort everything out. Um, the wife is away, so I think, I think I'm gonna end up um, getting. Well, look at that. That is filthy. That's awesome. What is that? Oh, dude, dude, I've got to have a look. I've got to have a look. Does it open? Oh, it's so rusty as well. I would presume. Is it supposed to speak? I don't know. So that's cool. We've got Leonardo as a lifeguard. Uh, we've got an old Donatello. One of those. We've got Man to Man. We've got a Batman. We've got a Splinter. We've got... Is that Michelangelo? That's Michelangelo, which... Yeah, these, these are so dirty. And I've just got all the dirt all over the floor. My wife is going to kill me. Uh, so, yeah, this is... Oh, no, he died. Sorry, dude. Dinosaur dude with, with guns and stuff. Just looks absolutely freaking awesome. Look at that. Uh, that might be the back of that Leonardo, I think. I want to say that goes on there. I presume that would go like that. Although it doesn't seem to be wanting to be... Oh no, it does go like that. So that goes. What are you doing? Go in there. There we go. Look at that. Boom. Lovely jubbly. Was I supposed to be sorting these out? Or was I I don't know. So got Raphael, but he's missing weapons. But as you guys can see, there's a lot of bits in here. There is a lot of bits in here. Got a samurai one where where he's uh he's on some sort of a motorcycle. As you do. Sewer dude, uh, bull dude. I've got an arm down here and other stuff. I've got, I've got a Michelangelo with. Oh, that's a knockoff, surely. That is horrific. That is terrifying. What is that face? I love it. <laughs> I love it for all the wrong reasons. Oh, it's got oh, it's got a windy thing. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Do something really stupid, please, 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 please. Move. Oh no. Go on, twist, twist, twist. What is that? <laughs> oh, I love it. Uh, it does look kind of dodgy too. So. There's 
bits of cardboard. It says there may be a splinter in here which does the flippy one. Which I don't think he is because I don't recall seeing that at all. But there's a spaceship, Raphael, with the weapons. There's some sort of a dingo dog. Uh, a kung fu panda. This dude's like missing half of his face. There's loads of weapons and stuff. Oh, man. This guy's missing arms. Is that going to be one of the other arms that goes on? Yes, 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 yes. So that's got to be on, on that side, hasn't it? It's got to be... Sorry, let's do it so you guys can actually see what I'm doing. I presume that goes into there. Oh, my God. I need to do this with two hands. One second. Excuse me, mate. Oh dear God, that is so stiff. No, oh man. This is all going in the bath because that is just so much stuff. <laughs> so much stuff. It is so cool though. And to, yeah, to pay like 15, 20 quid for a lot. I'm a very, very happy bunny. Um, the YouTube shouldn't be in there. Go away. So yeah, um, th this is this is Saturday car boot done. I, I've now got to tidy up this mess because that's a lot of rubbish. This half an ultimate warrior. What are you doing in here? And I'll catch you guys soon. As always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And yeah, if you want to be entered into the giveaway, just leave a comment. It's as simple as that. I'll catch you guys soon. Peace.